India T News for the week ending 1st March 2024. In headlines this week, Tata Tea is under scrutiny again as Shanta Chetri, a former parliamentarian from Kershong, has written to the offices of the Prime Minister of India and the Commerce Minister, raising concerns about Tata consumer products, consumer packs. She has said that the com- company blends the tea with those from Nepal, which does not meet safety standards and is unsafe for consumption. She has urged the food safety regulator FSSAI and the tea board to test the tea for MRL levels of banned pesticides. The company has responded that they do not import directly from Nepal and that any Nepalese tea in blends is sourced from Indian traders. Tata has explained that their teas are rigorously tested within the company and deemed safe for consumption. It must be noted that in 2021, Tata Tea and Darjeeling were at loggerheads when the tea board prohibited blending of imported teas with GI-protected Darjeeling, Assam, Kangra, and Nilgiri teas. A year later, this ban was lifted. In other news, Indian government mandates 100% of dust to be sold at auction. The amendment of the Tea Marketing Control Order 2003 will come into force from 1st April 2024. And one of the directives of the new order is that 50% compulsory sale of all tea and 100% sale of dust grades via the public auctions starting 1st April. And this order is targeted at, at estates in North India, which covers Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Himachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, Tripura, Uttarakhand, and West Bengal. Dust grades account for 25% of Assam and West Bengal tea production. Retail prices for CTC dust are currently at 160 to 190 rupees per kilo. And the move is thought to support greater compliance of tea towards boosting exports, but industry stakeholders are divided in their opinion on this move. And uh, lastly, Atul Astana, Managing Director and the CEO of the Goodrick Group Limited, has resigned after 39 years with the company. The Goodrick Group includes 18 storied gardens, including Turbo, Padamtam, Panspec in the in Darjeeling, Nonaipara in Assam, and Hope in, Duars, in the Duars. Astana led the company to years of profitability, retaining its position as a top contender in the tea market. He was also an active supporter of the tea industry and currently chairman of the Indian Tea Association. The decision to resign, he has said, was for personal reasons. Produced by Adavita Studios. Connect your voice to the world.